Well, a little while back I uh, updated my computer. I put a new motherboard in it and a new video card and also some uh, new RAM because obviously my old RAM wouldn't work because that was uh, DDR2 and this board takes DDR3 and it's still working pretty good. I still only have 4 gigs of RAM in it though which kind of sucks. I should have bought the other 4 gig stick when when I had the chance because it was on sale. This 4 gig stick here cost me $15. It was on sale from uh, I think it was 40 pretty sure it was around $40. So uh you know, it was kind of a boo-boo not to buy that other stick of RAM, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I've been uh, up to with this computer. I put a uh, 64-bit uh, Windows 7 on it, and then my video editing software kept crashing, so I decided to put Windows 7 uh, 32-bit back on but I kept 64 bit and just uh, partitioned my external hard drive so that I could have enough room to put uh, the 32 bit OS on that and I'm just using that uh, Windows 7 install only for uh, video editing but as you can probably tell I have uh, Mac OS on this thing too Alrighty, so here I am on the desktop of the computer and as you can probably tell everything is working pretty good. If I go to the app store it opens up no problem. I can sign in and I can download apps. I'm, I'm not actually going to do one because I don't really want to bother signing in but uh, same goes for uh, iTunes. I can go to the iTunes store. I can log in no problem. But uh, FaceTime is a big problem. I would really like to get this working, but if I try to sign in, I get an error that says uh, uh, the server encountered an error and, uh, you know, I have to try again later or something like that. So FaceTime's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, iCloud does pretty much the same thing. Uh, my messages or my mail, I should say, works good. Um, everything else works fine. The only other thing that I have trouble with is the bootloader, and that's a little bit of a pain. So I tried this uh, Chameleon one, and that didn't work. I tried Multi Beast, and I think they have like Chimera or something in Multi Beast. I tried that, and it wouldn't work. Uh, I tried uh, Clover, but I couldn't get the USB drive to uh, boot to Clover, so I don't really know what's going on. I'm gonna try to keep uh, working on it and figure it out, but. To tell you the truth, it's really not that big a deal. Pretty much everything works. Um, like I said, the App Store works. I can download apps. Um, iTunes works. The internet. All of the apps that I've downloaded so far work perfectly fine. Um, so anyway, I think I'm going to go and I'll probably keep trying. and. <laughs>